Victoria Rose and welcome to my channel. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. I previously lived out of my 1998 Jeep Cherokee. I traveled all around America for the past couple of years. And then I finally upgraded to a 2011 Toyota Tundra. <laughs> We're having issues with, and also I just recently purchased a 2002 Sunlight truck camper. You're probably wondering why, but I'm asking myself that as well. <laughs> if I have my mind set on something, I have to do it. My life has always been a bit unconventional and I'm not trying to promote alternative living or anything like that. I, I don't have some sort of motivation or inspiration. I'm not trying to be a role model or anything like that. I'm just trying to live in my own self and figure out what works for me. And if that inspires people along the way, then that makes me happy. So I'm so grateful that you're here. I like the little community that we have. Today, I'm a bit stressed. I make a video every week in real time. So uh, just swinging it, really. I, so I bought this camper from a Facebook seller. I asked them, does the crank up and down work really well because I'm gonna be doing it myself, so I need it to be easy. He said yes. When I got it home, I realized the crank didn't work and what actually had happened is it was spring-loaded, it completely twisted out. The whole entire roof needs to be replaced and that's what we are working on. We had to take the entire roof off and once we looked at it, it was even worse than you could imagine. That's where we're at right now. If that stuff wasn't bad enough, I'm having issues with my truck still. So I'm tired of getting ripped off. I'm really tired of it and now we're we're hoping to get on a good trajectory. I made an appointment at a Toyota dealership, hoping and praying they'll take the scam warranty that I was coerced into getting at this dealership. And I'm hoping and praying after reading the reviews, which were all one stars, I didn't realize that until after. Actually, I just realized that today. I don't regret getting the truck. I just, now I kind of regret getting the warranty. This channel is not about stress. It is a bit about the struggle, but it's also about overcoming struggles. The reality of things, but not letting reality get you down. I'm gonna be real on this channel. I'm gonna tell you everything that stresses me out. I'm gonna tell you how much things cost. And I'm also gonna show you that you can keep moving forward with those things in the way, because life is hard a lot of the times and that's okay. So whatever you're going through too, you can get through. In this video, we're going to try and make some more progress. I don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're gonna keep trying and moving forward. Let us continue on in this beautiful adventure of fixing rotted things. Okay, back at it. I'm gonna to attempt to do a Q&A while working on the roof. Can you give us an estimate of how much the repairs to the pop-up camper are going to end up costing. I don't know how much it's gonna end up costing altogether. I can tell you what I've spent so far. Just for the roof and the materials for it so far, I've spent $310. And there's definitely gonna be more probably to be spent, but if this is the bulk of the repairs, I'm gonna have a lot to do on the inside. As you can see, it has been raining so much. Hopefully today, we're going to be able to put it all back together or start to anyways. We decided that we're gonna screw in the wood to the uh, aluminum. Right now my dad and brother-in-law are cutting the styrofoam, putting a strip through it and cutting it out so we can bend it in. We're gonna put these everywhere. I would have spent even more if I didn't get things off my wish list. So thank you guys so much for helping with that. Before we get more into this video, I'm gonna answer more of you guys' questions, but I want to introduce today's sponsor, which is Aura. So today's sponsor is Aura, which is a really important time to be talking about them because hackers may have stolen every single American social security number. Over 2.9 billion records were stolen from the national public data, which offers personal information to employers, private investigators, staffing agencies, and others doing background checks. These stolen records include a person's full name, address, date of birth, social security number, and phone number, along with any alternate names. And apparently hacker groups have release this information for free online. If you weren't taking precautions with your personal data online, you can now. I'm not worried about it because I use Aura. Aura alerts me if any of my data has come up on the dark web and they let me know super fast if anyone tries to use my credit accounts or bank accounts online. You can get 14 days free if you use my link, aura.com slash Victoria Rose. So stay safe. Let's get back into it. Uh, next question, if you could do anything different, what would you do? I would not have bought this one. It's been very, very difficult to replace the roof. I don't really like to think of like what I would do different in life because I think whenever you're doing anything, there's always things to learn. And that's how you make yourself an expansive person. My goal is just to learn as much as possible. I do have a very short patience with things like this. That's good for me. It makes me uncomfortable. It makes me grow. Who did you want to become in the future when you were a kid? Either a veterinarian or a ballerina at first, an actress. Now, I just want to explore an adventure, satiate my curiosity. 
I, I get the question, are you single, so often. <laughs> we are at the next area of business, which is starting to put this frame back together. Rivets. Rivets. So we just cut the styrofoam. This styrofoam goes in behind this one by one. So we've custom cut these one by ones because these go here. This we needed to cut so we can bend it and put that underneath here. So we need to put that in, then we need to put that in. We have the wood cuts right here. And then we have the styrofoam that fills in the gaps that I cut for the, you know, beyond repair places. And then we'll add expanding foam in the rest of the little places. Right now we're taking measurements to put these self-tap screws into the sides every six inches. So we don't wanna just use glue alone. And that's what we're working on right now. chilly today actually. It's like 60 in the 60s, maybe 70. I'm cold. I don't like this. It reminds me that winter is coming in the summer. It's slowly fading away. Have you written a review about the fella that sold you the moldy roof yet? I tried to. I tried to leave a not so great review because that's how I felt, but for some reason Facebook wouldn't post it. So I tried to discuss it with him and we were discussing it and then he ended up just ghosting me. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna leave this bad review, which I never leave bad reviews on things, but I couldn't even get the satisfaction of that because for some reason, Facebook wouldn't let me post it, even though it said it was posted, but it wasn't. I just have to move forward, you know. A lot of people ask what my adventure is planned once I get this camper finished. I do wanna make my way towards Vancouver, Canada, if, it's warm enough to go there by the time I'm done with this. I don't know how long it's gonna to take to get done with it. I'm hoping to get done with it as soon as I possibly can. Once it starts getting colder, into Mexico. I really want this camper to be in tip top shape as well as my truck so we can make that intimidating journey. I'm not really answering too much about like my personal stuff. Someone asked if you want children and I've answered this a lot in my content and I never want children, have never desired it. I do want a dog though. And I'm hoping on this journey or this adventure, this trip, to find a dog that I can adopt. And it has to be, you know, it has to come into my life and need me. Because I have a little camper now, so I could actually fit a dog in my life. Another question I've gotten is, will I have AC in the camper? And no, I will not. I'm not gonna attach that to the roof or anything. It's too heavy and I don't really require it. The beauty with the pop-up camper is that you can open the sides and you get a nice breeze whenever it's open. I also traveled the whole west without having any AC, so I think I'm pretty good at it. And I will have a fan. So I don't really see the need for AC. And it's not like I'm gonna be plugging in many places. So I don't know how that would run without plugging it in. I'm also gonna take the cupboards off the roof just because I want it to be as light as possible. We even had to put in little pieces of wood just here. So everything has to be so flush and exact to make it all fit together because if we put this up on back on the roof and it doesn't fit down over top of the the edge be screwed so we are now gluing everything in gluing the sides lots of clamps and i'm gluing the styrofoam patches down into here another question what am I doing with Yuki? And I've answered this before, I'm selling her. I'm gonna put it as an online auction for you guys to bid on if you'd like. What I do for my job, my full-time job is YouTube. I work with brands and, and that's how I'm able to travel. So a lot of people ask like, how can they get started with that? And I just say, my camera. <laughs> what do you think I'm just talking to myself? <laughs> it takes a lot of work and dedication. Social media is very competitive these days. I've been doing this my whole adult life, so you know, I have a base following. It is not easy at all. There's a lot involved into it. Oh, I don't want this type of content. I want to be I want good content. So we have another problem, of course. The glue that I'm using 
which I bought a whole gallon of, and it was very expensive, is eating the styrofoam. Look at that. I am so devastated about that context, man. Look at that. Look how much it ate through. It's not something I would even ever even think of. So I got a whole gallon of that and I can't even use it. I paid $55 for that. And we can't use it because everything is touching styrofoam. So I'm gonna have to spend another 50 to $80 on liquid nails or something else. I don't know, something that won't eat styrofoam. We've made some progress. We've, we are getting the frame up. So it's basically coming together finally, which is the first amount of progress that has been made since breaking and tearing everything down. And I'll, um, I'll see you tomorrow. So I found the liquid nails. It's only $2.99 for one of these. I need like six. So hopefully this will work. This should work. The frame is finally coming together. We're making some progress. So I get questions sometimes about the type of um, cameras that I use, like my drone and my camera, so I'll show you the drone that I use for now, but it's not the one I want to be using. I definitely need to get a new drone, but for now, it's a cheap option. I'm not too scared of crashing. And I use the Sony a7 III, and then I use a Sigma lens. And then I use also, I just got a Sony vlogging camera. But I would love to upgrade my gear. I spent $19 on all the liquid nails. So we'll add that to the total cost, which brings it to $330 so far. So this is probably the worst side. We had to take all of the, like this, this tape stuff on it to try and seal it. But the problem was way, way, way deeper than that. So it was really hard to peel all of that off. This is definitely the most bent up side, as you can see. So it's gonna be very satisfying to fix all of this. What inspired you to travel and is it easy or hard in your opinion? I want to travel, but I'm scared. It's definitely not easy, but there's struggles with any type of lifestyle you choose. What inspired me to travel is that I, like, I really like momentum and motion. I like new things all the time and I like beautiful things. It's made the most sense to me and the sacrifice that goes into it was worth it in the end. There is sacrifice. Finding my flow. It depends on the type of person you are, whether it's easy or hard and how much it means to you. Not everyone needs to travel. I mean, my whole, a lot of my family just stay like here. Don't think that you're missing out on life just because you're not traveling. Like everything really is the same in the end. As long as you're happy on the inside, it's fine. There's no objective to life. The type of person who likes novelty, traveling, problem solving, lots and lots of problem solving. Like I said, if it's worth it to you, then the hardness doesn't matter as much. To be able to financial support yourself while traveling is very difficult. I have been doing social media and YouTube for my whole adult life and that's how I'm able to do it so I can't really give advice on that. Another thing I wanted to address about this camper is a lot of people say why don't you just why don't you just put the top and make it a permanent top not a pop-up top. The whole point of getting this and why I specifically got this one because it had a lot of the qualities I needed in a camper which was pop-up. Pop-up was the main thing because if you make it into just a tall non-pop-up anymore that is very not aerodynamic, terrible on gas, very bulky, just not what I wanted. I wanted a pop-up specifically to be able to pop it up and down. This is the drone that I used, the DJI Mini. This is probably goes for around 300 or so dollars now. Um, I'm in a desperate need for an upgrade because I'd love to get one that actually shoots 4K and can shoot vertical. That's um, the next piece of gear that I want to upgrade, but I have other priorities before that. That's the drone that I use. We put the glue, styrofoam, glue, wood, screwed it, 
on this side and then underneath here. And then we put this back on, which these little things take tons of time. That's the progress for today so far. All right, let's do a few more questions while I can like focus and I'm not multitasking. Did you come up with your brand in the beginning or just express who you are? My content has changed a lot since I very first started, which is very normal because I've been doing this for a really long time. I've taken down a lot of my videos from when I first started and in the middle because they were just, they do not represent me of who I am now. In terms of branding, it's not, there's no brand. It's always been kind of an expression of my life. In order to make content for me anyways, I have to be doing something that I like to do. Van life, camper life stuff really has always resonated with me since I can remember, just always really liked traveling and small little homes for some reason. I hope it's not rude, of course it's not rude. But how do you cope with the stress of vehicle issues and solo travel? I cope poorly sometimes. Um, because it's happened so often, it still doesn't make it any less stressful. When you're out in the middle of nowhere by yourself, it sucks that you have to rely on a random mechanic that you know is probably gonna rip you off. It's the most stressful thing. I, that's why I'm really keen to learn as much as I can about vehicles so I don't get ripped off as much. Cut your losses sometimes. Just know that it's something you're gonna have to deal with. If you wanna do this lifestyle, especially as a woman, there are certain things you do have to learn kinda how to do. You need to learn how to fix things. You need to learn about vehicles. And if you have a camper, you need to learn about all the things that are included in that. You know, and there's so much. There's how to drive with, you know, a big camper. There's just like so many things. It's gonna be a lot of learning and it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. And it's okay that you don't know everything at the beginning. You're just gonna learn on, on your way and it's gonna be pretty traumatic at times, but it grows you so much as a person that it's worth it. <laughs> so push through it. Do you have a time frame of when the camper will be done? Ugh, I wish. I really wanna get it done before it gets cold. I wanna get it done before summer ends. I wanna get it done tomorrow, but these things take time and this is really testing my patience. What's your favorite way to de-stress from the camper work? Um, that's a good question. I actually haven't been lately. This has been quite overwhelming and with my vehicle issues on top of it I have to take this truck in tomorrow morning to figure out why the ABS and all the other lights are on Because it's not gonna pass inspection if it's something to do with the wheel bearing. I still work out cook healthy food uh, I go over and hang out with my sister after this is all done I really need to do things that I enjoy which I once I go out and start traveling again, I'll get to go hiking, you know, I get to go camping in beautiful places. So I'm really just keeping that in mind, that this is all for something. How much money per day do you estimate you need to make to live comfortably in a camper? This is a good question. It really depends on the type of person you are. It really depends on how you eat. It depends on how much you tr are traveling in a day. So for example, for my Tundra and how much traveling that I do, I do a lot of driving. Gas is quite expensive. I also eat healthy, so my food is more expensive. I don't pay for camp spots, so that is an expense taken away. I say comfortably $100 a day, but you also wanna have money saved up for padding for when you need to go to the mechanics or things like that. And I am not the one to be giving financial advice to anybody. I actually don't know, cause it's different every time. Just have money coming in somewhere. You can budget, you can eat very cheaply. You can not drive as much. That is a big expense if you stay in spots longer periods of time. How do you do maintenance on your dreads at home? I have never actually maintained my dreads. I just wash them like normal hair. They dread by themselves. So I never have to do any, I don't, I also don't like tight roots. So this is all quite natural. I'm going to get my dreads done next week. So it's hopefully the next video, you'll see a whole new hairstyle. <laughs> Having dreads isn't something I really even think about. Just like I don't think about having tattoos or anything like that, it's not. But I know a stranger probably sees me, that's probably the first thing they think about. The total of amount spent today, because I had to order more screws, $365 so far. All right, we're gonna go take my truck in in the morning. We'll see what the diagnosis is. Oh, it's cold. I'm gonna go take my truck in. Let's see what happens. We just dropped it off in mom's car now. It's $130 just for them to look at it. I really hope that it's something that's minor. I, I have a feeling my gut that it's not, but you can always hope. So I'm still waiting to hear back from the garage about my truck. But in the meantime, I figured I'd finish answering these questions. Do you have a spot that you camped at that just surprised you how beautiful it was? Yes. Um, the one spot that really sticks out to me is in, I want to say it right, I don't remember names very well, but it was the last spot that I stopped in the west. It's a gorge. I'll, I'll write it down right here what it is. How long do you see yourself traveling for? 
a lot of questions sometimes ask me what I'm what I'm doing with myself or like what is my goal and this and that. I don't have like I don't think like that. I can only think pretty short term, and it could be good and bad. I just don't think we have a lot of time here on Earth. It's not that serious because we all go the same place. You know, we all die. I'm trying my best to be as contented and close to the flow of nature as I can as myself, and to just grow as much as a person. I feel like that's my purpose in life, and that's my goal. Also, I got asked about these boots that I got. Still holding strong, love these boots, my favorite boots. I got another pair that are black that are in the same brand, but I definitely like these desert ones a lot better. So I still recommend these ones. They're <clears throat> Hanagal Industrial Footwear. Aside from being able to stand up in the rig, which is a huge plus for me, what other benefits are you gaining? Will it have a toilet, shower, etc.? It will not have a shower. I still have my portable shower if I need to shower. It won't have a toilet, but I do, like I showed you guys before, I have that pop-up one, so I can use that in the camper. So it's not gonna have an actual bathroom. In terms of showering, it will be easier since I have a sink now. Another question was what countries, if any other countries I plan to go to, I'd love to go to Mexico and South America and Canada. I know that Q and A's aren't the most interesting videos, but because the progress is quite slow on the roof, I wanted to still give you guys some content. I hope you guys stay extraterrestrial. Stay tuned for the next video of me getting my hair done a different way, but also finally, hopefully getting finished with the roof, putting the panels on, and hopefully, I don't know if this will happen, but getting it put back up on top. <laughs>